everyone. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to our live. Um, I want to tell you that after a few days of doing like crazy faces and all the crazy textures, so today I decided to um, would a stop. Yes, I say would a stop. No, not would a break. Would a break to all the crazy and madness. So today we're gonna do something um, elegant to a certain point um, and colorful, vibrant um, that everybody can do and everybody can wear. Still under ocean themes. All right, so I'm thinking of butterfly abstract, but it's not gonna be a butterfly. I'm just borrowing the, the, the vibe from it. So this is a vibe I'm getting. A little more pastel but I'm, I'm feeling this vibe and also this vibe so I can somehow can like combine it you know just just this I'm calling it butterfly abstract today but it's not gonna be a butterfly hi hi everyone hi Marianne Kiki hello hello everyone hi Candy Ford Maria welcome all right, now, and it's gonna be shiny, yes, it's gonna be shiny. So let me connect. In. Turn the camera over. Okay, oh, wait, let me put on the website too. Hi, Gentilini. Hello. Let us plan more. Nachma. Hello, hello. Let me sit down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It, well, I say elegant to a certain standard. Not, not too elegant. Just vibrant. It's not going to be crazy today. Not going to be crazy. Just, just a little bit. All right, so let me post my website. You can purchase our product at www.tinovo.shop and I will include Kyla's information. Her phone number is 417-772-4020. So you can call her for any shopping or shipping question related to the website and all that purchase. Hello, hello, hi, Ferdinand. Now, now, necessities. Ooh, hi, madam from Brazil. As extra is always better. I promise it's not gonna be too like extra. I mean, it's it's still gonna be a little while, but everyone will love to wear this. The past uh, few day design is for a certain person, uh, for like a specific um person. But today. Pacific artist. Yeah. And the Pacific well, you know, some people couldn't wear textures. So today we're gonna do some abstract. Give a break, you know. Not not a stop, a break. Where did you get the double camera? Um, so in order for you to do double camera, you have to have double account. And then you invite yourself like you invite in a guest. No lag today. Oh, Yes, Isana. I want the pink gloves. I'll show you where. Bye. So these are pink gloves. This is why, but it's like four two. You can take a snapshot of that. It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Well, welcome to you, Blessed Hands. First time Gosh. watching, Seattle, Washington. Let me see. Hi, hi, everyone. Hello, J. Killer, Larry, Vanidosa, Snail by Chase, Mary, Sandra, Zadiklaw, 
where you get that double camera? Uh, yeah, I already answered that. You have to have a double account. Uh, glittering squid nails, now by Aquarius, Ashley. Oh, hi from Scotland. Hello, German Spa, Echo, Emmy. Ciao, Italy. Oh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't uh, pin it. Thank you, Thank Let you. me pin it real quick. Thank Good you. Morning, Thank you. All right. Let me pin the comment. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Cassie. Okay, we're done with the clubs. Okay. So I have these nails. Okay. The first item we need is pigment base. And yes, I'm not forgetting about the notes. I have two notes. One I write down the step, and then uh, I'll try right now, right now. And then this after hour, I would write down all the products. So pigment base, I will have this. Yes, you missed the inspiration pick. Yes, yes, it, it's it's fantasy butterfly, just just, but not butterfly. It I keep borrowing the mood. That's all. It's not gonna be butterfly. It's gonna be abstract between an orchid and butterfly wings with vibrant colors, but not like neon, more like pastel chrome colors. So it's either a butterfly or a flying one. It's, it's a, but I call it butterfly abstract. Okay, so I'm gonna get these index and the ring first. I wanna know if uh, we can. Yeah, we can because, because uh, we are entering double camera mode, so we couldn't share it. Um, later on, I will try to get a, another tablet because it doesn't use in this tablet. Now we're back to double screen, so I'm using one and um, another one is for the other account. Messed up a practice set on a model, feel defeated. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. I'm not keep trying because because you. It, remember, it's the model and you're practicing. Of course, you're going to mess up. Okay, this. So don't do that. Don't de be defeated by, by that. Of course, you're going to mess up when you practice. That's normal. Dustin doesn't dress up. No, Dustin doesn't, doesn't dress up. T-shirt kind of guy. Good morning, King Dolls. I didn't really dress up neither until I go to show. Cause you have to dress up at show. So they don't think that you just go to church, you know. <laughs> they know that you're there to perform. Yeah. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hear this. Oh my God, my first day I do in class, I wear this suit, right? And I tell my client, do you like it? And she's like, you went to church. <laughs> They're like, what do you mean? She said, you have to, you're an artist. You dress like an artist. So I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. So from then on, I'm like, okay, let me think about this. And... What? Kay Kaylee, um, we are just two hours away from Kaylee. She might be in Kansas City or St. Louis. I think Kansas City. Two hours. Okay, so you wait for it to dry. While I'm waiting, I would write down the step. So, number one is uh, apply pigment base. Okay, here, 60 seconds. I have to add this because then I have to add this for everything else. Okay, number two is apply pigment. Okay. So this is a pigment that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have two pieces of papers. One paper for pigment. The other one I fold it up like this to clean. And I will have my pigment over here. Right here is my pigment. Right here. Okay. 
take out my pigment brush. Hmm, there's not much pigment on here. Oh, I cleaned it before you started. Oh, thank you, Dustin. All right, so the is index and the is rings. I'm gonna do index first. We're gonna pick our color to apply. I'm using blue and green. A little bit of pink, but not much. And for this, I don't want it to be too bright. So I have white near me. So see how much I use it. I have white near me. It's just so I can lighten up the colors. Pastel. Not quite. Not quite. But along that side. Just lighten it up a little. Okay, blue first. I'm actually I need to put it right here. I think we're going to start putting a lot more on YouTube, so that'll help with the fast forward and rewind button. Okay. So from here, from the left side, I want to dust pigment out, and I want to go along the length of it. Just like this. Dust it all the way out. Okay, now lighten up my low just a little bit by touching the paper towels. That will make the pigment in the brush lighter. So now I'm going to blend it out further. Okay, stop right here. Blend the other one. Same way along the side and blend it out. Pick up a little bit of pigment. Closer so you can see. Thank you, James. What happened? What happened? Oh, she's just taking care of all the little stuff for Thank you, Gently Me. Which makes me feel better. Oh, Jen, thank you for the um, for the crystal. Oh my God, I love the one that are like uh um, it's like fuchsia. It's like pink, but fuchsia. Oh, I, I like that one a lot. It's so unique. I never seen that before. Okay, so now when I'm done with all this. Actually, I want to blend it out a little more, so I lighten up my load a little bit through the paper towels here. Now, kind of extend the blend a little further, just a little bit. Good morning, Jamie. So, as you get done explaining that, they're curious about what step do I need to do to chrome the top of pigment. To chrome the top of pigment, you need to put on a pick up a chrome base. A top coat, like a no white top coat, just any any kind of no white. Um, some will take chrome harder than the others. Some will be easier for it to take chrome, just depend on what you're using. But basically, just a no white top coat on here for 60 seconds. Then when you should wrap chrome on, and you have to choose the right chrome. Unicorn chrome is the best because it shows the colors. Uh, solid chrome would not be ideal because it cover up the colors. Just a little green in here, not much. <clears throat> Let's blend it up to see what it look like. See, too, too much green now. Just a little bit more blue. A little bit more green just to balance it out. Okay, now I'm putting some white. He said that was excellent yesterday, how you showed the slow and side angle on the pigment. Helped him you are welcome. You are welcome. I don't, um, 
I don't go through the pigment step often anymore because that's what we do last year. Last year we are focused in pigment. Remember last year. So in every life, there's plenty of pigment lesson. So now, uh, once in a while, for newcomer, we will explain through the details of the uh, brush and pigment. Oh, yeah. But you see, see now I just lighten up. You just this paper towel. The the setup of the paper towel is quite important. Mm -hmm. See this one right here. You see this little dust. See that. You know why this little dust like that? Because your brush is dusty. So whenever you pick up your pigment, you can also go into the clean side and you should knock out extra dust. So now your brush still have pigment, but it's gonna be less messy than before. So, you know, because what you're doing is like you're kicking it. So of course, if, if it's full of dust, it's going to shoot out from the white background and it's make it very messy. So you can eliminate it by either. And when you run through the paper towel like this, it means that you just apply pigment on the paper towel. So now it's have less pigment. You can also do that too. That's how you can make an airy surface like this. See how nice and airy it is. Now this cleans it. And you get some pink. Too much pink, so I'm getting some white. Make it lighter. I just want a touch, a blush. Not much. This will be perfect right here. But see right now, so dusty. That's no way I'm going to slap on the nail. Okay. See that? Now I go in and I just using just a tip of my brush, <laughs> picking up just a little bit right here. See that? Just a little, not much. Remind me of watermelon or a radish. See that? Just a little bit, just a touch. Just a little touch, that's it. very airy see and if it's too much on your brush again come back here run a few times so when you go back it'll be easier it'll be less messy because it's now there's not a lot of pigment onto the brush see that see that beauty it's just a touch now you can dust everything off this alone can be a, a design also. I mean, it can be, you can do this for your client and they can also be happy with just this. It's pigment blend background, all nice and soft. Three color, probably a hundred bucks a set for all 10 fingers, three color for each finger. I'm gonna put this up here so I can reuse it later. Ooh, it doesn't remind me of Jawbreaker. Yeah? Yeah. Good analogy. Now, I am going to chrome this, okay. So, again, for chroming, I'm choosing chrome base, okay. So with chrome base, or you can replace it with any top coat. Just remember, some top coat are easier to take chrome, some top coat are harder to take chrome. To depend on if it's hard or soft, the ingredient in it. I have two kind of top coat. One called Shandit, and Shandit is a scratch-proof top coat. It's super hard. I use it a lot on surface so it can stay shiny until my client come back from the visit. Also, sometimes I do use soft top coat to finish, especially if I want to apply it on top of uh, clear silicone. I do use soft top coat so it can bend with the silicone. Here it is. Apply one layer of chrome base. Now, brush all the way down. Do you know that uh, um, Jen's uh, son is doing, um, I forgot the name, but basically they study like uh, 
crystal and um, crescent gem and all that. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. I want to do that a lot. Well, it would be a good question. Yeah, but I mean, it would be cool to do that for a living. That would be so rewarding. Okay, so I'm taking it out. And I go ahead and chrome it. So, before I do this, I'm going to write down the step again. See, now I remember. Just take me a few more time and I remember. So, apply pigment, then apply chrome base. Here, 60 second Corallo Pala uh, Sesentos um, Segundos. Okay, okay, now apply chrome and then I apply unicorn chrome. Unicorn chrome, some company called Aurora chrome. So I apply it on. Now I'm choosing pink. You can do any color you like. I do pink, so it like green and then pink tone. It's all pretty. Okay, so let me explain for you about uh, unicorn chrome. I'm gonna get a new bottle for you. Okay. So these are two type of chrome. I actually have one more. Mm, this one. Okay, so I have unicorn chrome, solid chrome, and galaxy chrome. Okay, so I'm telling you the difference. This right here is solid chrome. It don't care what color on the background. It doesn't care if it's black or white. This right here, you can cover anything. So at this point, if I apply on this, I wouldn't see any of these colors. I would see blue. So that is solid chrome. Now... These are very similar to solid chrome because it's also solid chrome. But what this is, is a chameleon. So it has more than just one tone. Uh, when it's on the nail as chrome, it also can be mixed with cat eyes. So this and this are very similar. If you put this on, again, you will just see blue, greenish, purplish layer. But you're not going to see the color. So I'm choosing this. Now this see-through, okay, it has two two uh, color, a base and a tone. A base is on when it show up when it's on like a light surface, like white or nude, it show up the base. Uh, these have green base. And then the tone is the color in here, which is pink. So it's pink tone. So it doesn't matter what co color you put on, you still can see the color. And that one I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna use an old bottle. Use old chrome bottles. So I can use up all of it before I change new bottles. All right, shadow applicators. Are over. Good morning, Glenn Goddess. She came late yesterday. It was all sad. Um, we just started today, Glenn, so... Why was she sad? Hmm? Because she missed a live. And oh, oh, oh. Right at the very end. Oh. I thought that she had some... Uh, it's like when you miss the plane. Family. you standing there seeing that the yeah. door's still open. <laughs> I know. You guys ever, uh, you guys ever encountered that issue? It's so annoying when you're at the airport and usually the boarding time is over the plan's still there but they wouldn't let you in that's crazy it happened to us a few times that's just one time when we're in chicago and we're not sitting at our gate because there's so many people so we're sitting across from the gate which is very close distance you can see our, our gate all the way over there and the other side of the room our plan took off without us acknowledging it. Now, just so you know, we did have a couple of edible before uh, before that happened. But again, I mean, we use the edible, so it's kind of cough us we off guard. We shouldn't have missed it. At all. Look at how beautiful with the chrome on. But we got some more Chicago hot dogs, so that panned out okay. Okay, so that's step number four. Now you want to use stained glass gels. 
draw a sway pattern with stained glass gel. Gels. Okay, I'm using blue. I am using stained glass gel number seven. And stained glass gel number eight. So that is a light blue and a deep blue. And also this. Okay, number 13. If you don't have stained glass gel, you can just take top coat mixed with pigment. You can take top coat mixed with gels. If you don't have stained glass gel. Okay, number 13, eight, and seven is what I'm going to use. Put it out in the palette. Put all this pigment back here. on my brush here, I have to make sure that I'm organized. That will help me because I have, I'm not just doing live, I'm writing things down and I'm keeping track of product and all that. So I just have to make sure that it's super organized so I don't uh, get lost. Ooh. I sit on my string, string everywhere. Okay. So I'm taking out number seven, number eight. That's a lot. I don't need that much. And easy purples. You I wonder why purple is in here. All right. So put the color back. Take out a 10 millimeter. That's my favorite line of brush. Okay, you can use 20 if you like one. I'm using 10. Choose a lighter color first. This is lightest. This is a little heavier, and this is really heavy. I'm making a sway now. So from here, I go down. So let's just start from the middle. Okay, going down. A little slant, but down to about right here. Now. now. From here, you move in across a little bit, okay, not too steep, kind of flat right here. Okay. Is now, stained glass gel and translucent gel the same? Yeah, the jelly gel. If you have jelly gel, that's it. Okay, so now from here, okay, I change my angle so it can be stiffer. So even though this is a slant, remember that. It's not just straight across, okay, not just straight down, stiff, and then you move across a little, and then you turn your angle again down really steep. So that is what you do. I'm making another one. And notice this how I started out really far apart from this and I end really close to this. See that? That is, um, I'm not saying you have to do that, but it's pretty when you do it like that. How about, and, mm -hmm, go, go, go how about sugar syrup gel? You don't want to use something that are thick. I know it's out there. Uh, it's translucent too, but it's not liquidy. You want to use liquidy gel. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you're talking about. You don't want to use that. That thick. What else? if it thick in consistency? You don't want to use that. Okay, so I'm gonna make another sway. You notice that this one is different. I'm not swaying. I'm curving it up right here. So again, see it? This one is really close together and this one is really far apart. See that? This one, I'm curving in. Just like this. Okay. All right. When you're happy, when you're satisfied, go ahead and cure. And doing the same thing over here.
Today's theme is rustic cantaloupe. No. Rustic cantaloupe. <laughs> no, what'd you say? Artistic. A butterfly abstract. abstract. Butterfly abstract. I don't know. Rustic cantaloupes. That sound weird. That sound weird. I think I might have met moose, but that still doesn't help. <laughs> Antelope, maybe I don't know. Antelopes? <laughs> oh, friends, Dara loves your necklace. Oh, thank you. All right. So, as you see, very light. Because we're going to make it heavier with the other darker color. Cute this. Okay, now, you take this out. Time to move on to the blue. So I don't want to cover up all this light blue. So I want a thin little dark blue right in right in here. It could be in the middle or it could be from the side. But you want this blue to be like a heavy point. So it looks deeper. See that? You don't want to cover up the light blue though. I'm basically making like a gradient effect. See that? Mm -hmm. Gee, it's not the same thing. What the hell is the rest of the camera? Somebody's curious if you could do a cow design or something. Yes, yes, a cow print. Yes. Thank you for reminding. So many ideas. Yes, a cow print. I love cow print. I have this little technique that uh, I haven't shown yet on the cow print. This little technique I learned from Japan, uh, from uh, one of my favorite artists from Japan. Okay, and then I don't know his name, of course. <laughs> it's, in, it's in Japanese. Hayaiku or something. Halaiku or something. Anyway, he, he wear glasses. But um, that's all I know. I don't know his name. Sadly to say, but I love him. Uh, he's a Japanese guy from Japan. Man, Japan is crazy now. They're so far ahead of us. They do a lot, lot of texture now. They they mess with a lot of uh, clear silicone now too. But anyway, there's this cow print that I learned from him. I'm just watching his uh, his work produce. It's quite interesting because it's not a typical cow print. He's do like an invert cow print that are uh, uh, texturized. I'm like, hmm, that's cool. Exotic classes. I look at stuff and I think, I want to put that on a nail. That's, that's where the passion comes from. Okay. Now, move to the purple colors, the deeper colors. Again, just a little bit right here. Now, you don't want to cover up that deep blue, okay? So from then, you got to be careful. Mm, I'm just logging on. What gel is that? This is stained glass. Stained glass gel. Let me show you colors. Stained glass gel. I'm using 7, 8, and 13. 7, 8, and 13. And we're making like a gradient effect, like a gradient line. Let's see. You insert it right in the middle of that deep blue, or right beside that deep blue. Kind of like a similar process when you try to do a glow effect. Um, Does it come in a sec? What now? Oh, oh, yes, it does. Hear this. Um, the reason why I'm a little late this morning. Um, the spark gel, I might have to take it off a website because um, uh, one of the um, companies that I affiliated with before, Joe and Mia, a long time ago, they carry a gel that are having the same name. I, I did not intentionally um, try to uh, do that knowing that Joe and Mia carry spark gel. I just carry, I just named spark because Cindy have a crystal line called spark. But Mm, I have to read message after this because it might interfere and I don't want them to do that. So I might have to change the names 
maybe have a K instead of an S or something. Right. But I don't want to interfere with Joe and Mia because I do love Joe and Mia. Uh, so I just want to tell you that Spark Gel might disappear from the website. Uh, if we bring it back, it'll be a different name. So that is why I'm late this morning. And I just want to, uh, you guys to know that just in case you guys were wondering where Spark Gel is. That's mean I have successfully removed it. Because we, Cindy is a very big, Dream Time Creation is a big company. We cannot um, risk because like, like designer stickers, the, the reason why I cannot have designer sticker on yet, like Prada or Chanel or Louis Vuitton, because if you see it in a company that they sell it, and you wonder, well, why they sell it and I can't sell it, because Dream Time Creation is big. You know, they make millions, millions every year. So company will sue them. You know, they after the big fish. And, and right. If I have like Louis Vuitton sticker in, Louis Vuitton will come after us right away. So I have now a bunch of designer stickers that I couldn't put on the website. Later on, I will make mystery box. And I will put the designer sticker in the mystery box. See, problem solved. And I will tell you which, uh, which one is in which too. Because then again, I still don't like the concept that you guys just get random stuff. So if I have mystery box, I will go on live and tell you, well, mystery box number one have Chanel in it. Mystery box number two have Louboutin in it, I will tell you. I don't know. What do you think, Dustin, on the concept that people get in random things? I still can wrap my head over it. <laughs> like, I wouldn't well, want... I wouldn't want to get not random now. thing. Yeah, not and now. And the reason why is this. To me, that, that is all kind of gimmicky. And I feel like we have certain stages that, that we should do to help them stay away from other scandalous people. Yeah. You know, so to me, it's the teachings first, then the stuff. Yeah. You know, later on, once we've got everything, we feel a strong foundation in the way it needs to be set up. Then we'll move on to that. But anything, it, it, jumping ahead, putting a cart before the horse, it's bad to distract us and keep us from, you know, like for instance, we could sit and figure this scenario out, or we could be putting videos on YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so basically, I think it would be a great idea, but right now, I think it would stress us out. Okay. Okay, so when I'm ombre in it with an ombre brush, I want to make sure that I have a little bit of clear coat. It doesn't matter if you use top coat or matte or whatever. You, you can just use anything that are clear because you're not dipping your whole brush into the clear coat. You just, you just wet it a little bit. So it's nice and smooth for you to ombre. I'm ombre in the purple in. But... If we were going to do a mystery box, once again, because you are unique and different, I wouldn't want to give away stickers and products to throw a little touch by Tino Nell in there or something. Oh. I wonder if you're blessed to brush it. Kill this. Right. It's just that, you know, because my concept is artists uh, come from different kinds. That's different kind of artists. You know, that's there's artists that need that, like like there's this person that need 3D jelly, that need texture gel. But there's this another person that hmm, might not big on that, might love our art gel, might love fairy gels, or there's a person that love chrome and stained glass strictly, you know? So imagine any of those people that get in something that are not fitted to their category of design, they're going to be disappointed a little bit, don't you think? But then again, if they get in mystery box, then they should know that they're going to get random thing anyway. So I don't know. I'm back and forth on that. Yeah, we'll deal with it when the time comes. But let me, let me stop and say one thing real quick. Hello, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. You remember Marsha Williams? Yes, I do. Yeah. She's from a different country. No, um, she's from Michigan. Carrying the same. From close to one of our class. Was, okay, okay. I think we was in Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. I remember. Yeah, we tell Marsha that we're going to do class soon, but our plan has changed. We've been doing it every day. So, one lady named Marsha, she's from uh, 
See if I'm like an island too. Barbados, I think. Mm -hmm. She in Jenny glass. Oh, Chicago plan. Chicago? That's how we know we traveled so much. Oh, we do. I miss a traveling day, but I feel like it's so rewarding, especially for our previous student. You know, learn from us already. Now you can just learn more from us for free. So, here was a question. Go ahead. Um, someone was asking, do we sell bundles like what you use during the class, like this class? And that, I think that would definitely be too complicated. Bundle like what? Like everything you use today? Mm -mm. It's impossible. Every day we have different things. It's impossible. Um, but it's not impossible for you. It's impossible for me to put it on the website. But for you, you don't need it to be on the website because every one of our lessons, we have all the list of the product down in the caption. Um, so you can just look at that list and you should buy what you need because every day we do different things. So for us to put on the website, it'd be like a hundred things. It'd be like a thousand things. What a great mess of inventory. It is. Probably have to change the whole dynamics. Remember, I'm not the one that shipping it out. Worker ship it out for you. So it has to be simple enough. Because they're not nail tech. They don't know um, nail product. So it has to be uh, simple because they're moving fast. Okay, now, matte top coat. So matte it. All over. Here, 60 seconds. So now we are done with our pattern. We're gonna put matte on. This is why I use matte. Monthly mystery box. I mean, I, I do think that that's fun. I wanna do that. I just have to think hard about it. I, I wanna do that. You know, but you know, disregard what I say because when people click in a mystery box and they purchase it, they know what to expect. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I think I'll do it later. It's still in the back of our mind. Yeah, my right. my priority is to put the crystal kit on. You the first floor before you build the second floor. Yeah. Kill this. Ooh, what a word of wisdom, Dustin. And the walls. Go crazy. What's that? In the that? meantime, we're just chit chatting and you're slaying this nail set over here. Oh, I'm telling you, design today are simple. Simple. I, I take it back, not simple. Um, design today are um, acceptable by everyone. By anyone can do this, anyone can wear this. Cause we have a couple of crazy days where we do like crazy face portrait and and uh, textures and and bars. You know, all all over the top. So today, I'm gonna give you something breathable. Breathable. You can breathe through this. You can breathe. See, I'm not like high stress. Breathe slow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I do want to file this just a little. Keep the shape. Now, listen. For those of us who've been here this week, we all know that Karen is going through a time of something that most mothers should not go through. Yes. And, and I also understand it's so easy for us to all, A, feel sympathetic, but B, possibly say the wrong things out of sincerity. Yeah, don't say so, the wrong thing to Karen. So, or even a thing. So today, after we get off, I would really appreciate it if everyone just thought about Karen. Yes. And then thank be happy. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, you not, can not so sorry. Right. Just be happy. When when you think about her after hour don't 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 feel with sad emotion because you are manifested into her life. Yeah. When the life is over, try to think of happy thought toward her. Try to send positive energy to what Karen, Karen, we love you. Be happy. Right, right. Think like that in your head. And really, with enough of us think like that, it could really manifest in power. Mm -hmm. But yeah, whenever you think of Karen, don't think about sad thought. Don't think 
oh poor Karen you know sad negative thought then it will make her feel worse so when you think about her try to think positive yeah and you can help her that way you can help her get through this with positive thought oh they said what notes well you know has been taking notes I've been taking notes hopefully they are too but just on live, I throw away every note when I'm done live. Okay. Now, next step I'm going to do is I'm going to put shine on it, but not all over. I'm going to put in segments so it look, it look um, like it's texturized. Okay. So, in this state, we have to try to decide should we use texture gel or 3D gel. Okay. So, I'm starting out with this first to show you. So again, remember this gel is a non cell leveling gel. I'm going to take this, clean my brush, and use it first. Just on one thing. So I'm going to do it right on here. Okay. So I'm having one scoop of a clear texture gel with a liner brush. Okay. I'm going to put it on. Look how it stays still, okay? So that is texture gels that I'm using. But I don't want a line, okay? I want it to be all over. So now I am going to take more and I'm going to try to spread it out. And keep in mind that this is a non cellular gel. So I can see how I'm kind of struggle to spread it out. Okay, I'm going to struggle to paint it. Look closer. And there's some bubble right in here too because I move my brush a lot. There's some tiny little bubble in here too. Okay, so this, I'm using it to fill out everything. So that is when I use clear texture gels. Okay? Yes. Now, on this side, I will use 3D jelly. And I will let you see the difference. Does texture gel cure with a tacky layer? No, it's going to wipe for chrome. Now, 3D jelly. Okay, this is different. This is 3D jelly. Now, this is cell leveling. Remember this. So, again, I'm scooping one scoop of 3D jelly. Okay. Still a line. And I'm going to fill it out. But I want you to notice how easy it is to fill out. Okay. See, I just touch it a few times. It's all fill out. I don't have to struggle. Okay. So at that point, you need to decide. Do you want to use 3D jelly or you want to use texture gel? Okay. For this. Kill this. TLC got hers early and she's been playing with her last night. Texture gel. Texture gel. Kill. Yeah. So... I'm going to show you the differences, okay, because I am going to use 3D jelly. But I want to explain for you why, you know. Is 3D jelly similar to hard gel? To hot gel? Yes, it is. It is. It's similar to hot gel. Because it's very similar to shandy. Because these two lines, you guys, are different. Okay, these two lines are completely different. I forgot the metallic line. But um, this I use texture gel, and as you see, it did not build to adhere to the background like this. And I mean adheres in, I mean blending to the background is like, see all the edges, see it's like hugging into the background because it's built to spread, it's built to spread out and smooth out. Now this texture gel is really good when I doing this, okay. But if I wanna spread it out like this, it's a little difficult for me doesn't mean that I can do it. It's slightly difficult. So at that point, I decide 3D jelly because these, each one of these lines are big. And it's not just lay on onto the nail. It cover up the entire nail. All of these lines cover the entire nail. So, so the whole nail made up of this. So at this point, I have discovered that I prefer 3D jelly with these kind of lines because it's easier and it's smoother. Okay, so before, don't just close your eye and pick a random product. Try to think of which one helped you. 
So at this moment, I prefer 3D jelly to help me with the thick and big white line like this because I do want it to just smooth out automatically faster. Texture gel is a little slower to smooth out because remember it's non cell leveling. And even these lines are close together. That's just one, two, three, four. That's just a few lines, like five different lines. So I don't mind killing it in between at all. However, I have forget the metallic line. <gasps> oh. You know, we wouldn't have known had you not said that. We just threw it in there. But I said something. Thank okay. You. Thank you, Sapphire. So. Are you pixie gel then? This before before I put on a um a mat, I take a metallic gel liner and I activate it and I put a few line up of gold just right beside the right beside the this line. However, I forgot. So when I forgot, I cannot put on metallic line anymore because I need to top coat it again. So I put on pixie gel. I don't need to top coat this. So I can fix it with pixie gel. Yeah, you know, right? If I haven't mentioned, then they would ne never know that I don't have this. Gosh, I have to be so honest all the time. Gosh, I mean that. Because really, you didn't actually forget it if you, you know, right. You later right, right. right, right. Right, right. Okay. Up to you. You don't have to do this. I just do this because it's, I mean, it's pretty. That's why I do it. Okay, just a feel. Not much. Don't go crazy. Just a feel. Just a touch. Don't remember. Don't go crazy. I know you. You're going to go crazy. It's going to be go. <laughs> it's going to be go everywhere. Yes, Gentolini. Gentolini say that pixie gel pair really good with this design. I just want a little gold accent. Ooh, she's like wine. Uh, what category will I find the textured gel in on the website? It's in 3D category in gel effect. So you click in gel effect, and then that is the 3D category that where you find it. Or you can also find it in the texture effect category. I, I um, I put it in both category. Just so many names for gels. I need to start doing more research. Oh my god! That yes, that I is. Would, I would say also don't necessarily go by the name. Right, right. But there is a lot of kind of gel out there. I haven't get all of it yet. That's still and then that's new one every year. So here this. That's why when I first started teaching, they just like, oh, we have a couple of lana gel. You knew that? I'm like, no, are you kidding me? I need specific product, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we get it, we get it. No, they don't. They didn't get it. They didn't have what I asked for. Mm -hmm. All right, so now 3D jelly. Here we go. I already explained for you why I'm using this. That doesn't mean that you have to. If you want to play with texture effect in this, you can take clear texture gel. You can, and then you play with 3D jelly and you feel it. You just have to feel it, what it does, so you know exactly when you need it. Mm -hmm. See, if I were to take 3D jelly and do a bunch of lines like this close together that will be a shit show because it will try to run and I have to try to be uh, tricky, be really fast, you know, but this line is completely different. It's not like a bunch of line close together. It's just really thick line. It's almost like a, like me polishing the nail, but just in different section. See, it's all smoothed out by itself. Hi, John. Oh, I touch it. I touch this before it's clear. It's okay. Adding more gel in it. Good morning, John. 
Is the last time we seen him, he's going somewhere? At the airport or something? Yeah, a few days ago. A few days ago. I wonder where he's going. I don't know. Did he say? I forgot. <gasps> he was in South Carolina. Oh, shit. He's he having a glassy he power. Where he was going. Ah, he's saying he's going somewhere. Gotta have a flask here. I don't need to take the nail away every time. Oh, we don't know how Matt's doing. Who? No, that's not Matt. Oh, we don't know. Matt is busy now. They are all busy now. Mm -hmm. With passion. Mm. Okay. You don't have to apply it thick. I can just add a little gel in the middle, but I try to stay off the side. I don't want the side to get thick. And if, if you want, you can turn it upside down for it to be center again. I'm not going to do it with this one because we did not create a big love handle yet. So if it is, you just turn it upside down. A little bit right here too. You know, it's funny, but... At some point, or... at some point, I want to take a class. I want to take a portrait class. A portrait class? Mm -hmm. Because I wonder how they teach it. You know what I mean? I wonder where they start. Do they use grid system like me? Do they sketch it out with pencil like me? Or do they sketch it out with gel? You know, do they start from all over the face? And then color in, or did they start with just the eyes and just start to draw it out? You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, I prefer to take portrait class from the Russian. The Russian always have the best portrait class. See, that's kind of where we're different. If I was going to take a portrait class, I would want to take one on the street corners in New York, just right down there with those pictures. No, like a nail portrait class, you silly. Honey, I'm sure all of those people will teach you. Because I want to teach portrait at some point, not now, because we're just starting now doing live. But I just want to hear it how other people teach it. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we don't sell the light. No, uh, it's that shop uh, dot co. Is that question? Where do you go? What? Gel, can I use to build a gel extension? 3D gel. 3D jelly. You can use 3D jelly to build clear tension. You can use it to make a whole nail. But with that, you better buy the big bottle because then you can save more. I have a small bottle, 15 uh, gram, but I have a 50 gram. For uh, whatever price it is, it cut up 20 extra dollars from your pocket because it's big. They sell to me big so I can sell it a little cheaper. Just uh, for Australia, because Australia, there is a lot, they use a lot, a lot of 3D jelly and they have been asking for months if we can make a bigger one because they use it for uh, enhancement. No enhancement. So they say uh, they use it within a day because that they have 20 people salon they use within a day and it's over. So they just want more. So that is why I make a big one. Make a 50 gram. I can make bigger later. Mm -hmm. I just need to see. This is sweet. 18 summers. Just ordered some products. I don't know why I expected them to be really expensive, but super affordable. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We went through that. The further I go, the more I can... Um, be able to manage affordable pride because of the quantity that we buy. Okay, now. I start from the middle because the middle can be big, I don't care. And then I spread out from the side because I do want the side to be nice and thin. If you don't wear glove, you can use this. Sometimes when I don't wear glove, I use the mixers 
have on the side like this. So you make sure that it's nice and thin. Keep this. This nail right here, I prefer it to be chrome. I, I, be, I prefer it to be deep blue. So I'm going to use new, new, just because I want some skin up here. And then the tip going to be deep, deep blue. <laughs> How you know it fully dry gel that you're using now. So when I flash here, okay. So if I use a flashlight, when I apply a gel on, let's say I tear one, two, three seconds, okay. I will use my finger to touch it to see if it start to be a little solid yet. Okay, if, if it wet, then that means you need to be more four, five, six seconds. And then you test it to see when it's hard enough. So this flashlight, you can turn on and cure for two or three seconds. Okay, but it's battery operated. And whenever you use battery operated flashlight, you have to know that the battery can get weaker. It's still gonna be blue. It, you still gonna see blue, so there's no way of telling unless you test it. So now you test it for three seconds and it's dry. Next time you test it for five seconds and it's dry, you know that it's time to change battery. Okay. When you keep for sixty seconds, it's solid. Okay. Should this design work on shorter nails? Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh prefer please to let shape. Um, if it's square, you have to be semi tricky about it. Tricky. Okay. If it's square, it still work, but your shape gotta be excellent. It'll be nice, sharp, all around it. Now I'm gonna use nude. So let's use this top gel nude. Oh, actually, you ten, ten nude. I haven't used ten nude in a while. Say all his design can be done on short nail. Every single design out there can be done on short nail. But some will look pretty and some will not be pretty. That's why I say if you choose square, you gotta be extremely careful. Okay, because it's beautiful on, on stiletto, but with square you gotta watch it. You gotta be nice and precise, or else it wouldn't look good. Okay. I haven't done with this yet. So I'm gonna show you before you use your 3D shelly, the first stroke that you put on, you always have to test it every time you have client. If you use a, uh, again, if you use a flash cure that are battery operated, if you have flash cure that are plugged in, then you don't have to test it because you know that it's gonna be three seconds every time. But you see now I'm gonna, I'm gonna shine the flash cure on one, two, Three, and I'm gonna test it. Ooh. Okay, see? See now I can touch it. It's not wet. It's moved a little bit, so it's squishy inside, but it's not it's not wet. Okay, so that means the surface have here just a little bit. So now I know three seconds is good. So every now after that, every stroke after that would be three seconds. And then next time when you see a client, do it again. The first stroke you always have to test. Again, if you use a battery operated flashlight. One, two, three. Okay, here. So I'm going to write down 3D jelly pattern. Three D jelly pattern. Okay, but even though I use 3D jelly, I suggest that you use clear texture gel first. And just one, just for you to feel the way it's work, and then you erase it, and then you use 3D jelly, just for you to feel it, because you really need to know which is which and when to use which. You know, when you branch out and do your own thing, you need to know which one to use. So in order to do that, you have to feel the way that your brush moving through it. Mm -hmm. Now remember when it's just start to cure 
are finished curing don't don't just put your finger on it yet okay let it cool down let it cool down a little bit now i am gonna put nude on both of these they said you forgot to write the pixie on oh oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Sorry. And congratulations, Sean. Sean's going to have his warehouse over by next month. Nice. He's still in a classroom in the back. Oh, Sean. Okay, so this is, let's name it. Oh my God, we were just talking about it. Uh, fin textures. Oh no, butterfly abstract. Good day, Mr. Matt. Abstract. Hi, Matt. So, there is your recipe. I'm going to put this on the side. Now, we come in here. Now, this all tan. You know, why isn't we use tan nude? I'm going to add some blush on the tan nude, too. Well, we're constantly thinking of you and constantly sending you great inspirational thoughts get this this one i'm not gonna write it down because it's just gonna be a background it's not gonna be a design as i say today i giving you room to breathe this abstract design you can do on any colors these two now gonna be badasses okay here Ooh, little streak right here I figured Matt's class must be going good, or he would be secretly texting us from the back of the room. Hey guys, I'm in class right now. That sucks. You know? How's school, Matt? Hope school go good. good. Okay. okay. What's that or not? It love it. I just want to see. Okay. Let's whip this out. put it near just to see you know what I don't need to put blush on this it's beautiful just like this I'm I needing to put another coat because it's a clear now good morning May good morning KSE hi May is that red deer now uh -huh. Matt says that you're a better teacher did you tell Matt yeah, you this. replaced him, though? You <laughs> found a better Matt? Yeah, this guy. Yeah, is a better Matt? Just go along with it, man. I thought he's the best one. Oh, 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 we, oh yes, we do have yeah, a better Matt. He abandoned us. Oh, God. Since there other teachers, God. <laughs> but our new and improved Matt is so much better. God, I hope he doesn't get on here now. <laughs> this will be awkward. <laughs> Yes, we have a better mat. The other mat. Yeah, we didn't say another mat. We said a better, better mat. mat. Yeah, yeah. The, the other mat have no shine at all. Right. All matte and velvet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Hear this. laughs> okay, so a doctor tips. I am going to use glam glitter to make a um, embossed gems. All right, I like, we don't have a better math book. But we are accepting all applications. Please, better math apply. We... You want me to open that bigger? Got it? I got it. Oh, okay. How did you just open that? You didn't even really know what was in it. Mm, let me see what jam. Um, okay, this is Barry. Don't match well with the duel. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking fairy. Uh, I can chew a pink one. Oh my goodness. I like fairy, but oh, I like this actually. Today is our two year anniversary. Yeah. 
It is? Yeah. For what? For a class, our first class with Mel Daddy. No yeah. way. Yeah. Oh my God. I know. I remember. It's in Brooklyn. Yeah, now I kind of expect chocolates or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember. When I first walked in, he's like, what's wrong with you? Are you drunk? I was so tired. I was like, no, I'm tired. Like, I went very comfortable. So, I mean, when we first met, he might expect me to be like, oh, John, no, that, ooh. But I'm tired. You know, yeah. so I just walk in the room like, hi, John. Like, first time ever we ever met. So he like, are you drunk? Are you tired? I'm like, no. I'm just get off the airport, John. And then Vina coming in. Oh, my God. It was so fun. Was, oh, we have a Mac then, too. We have a computer Mac. A guy who will do computers. Yes. 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 A Kiki. Kiki. Yeah. Kiki. Yeah. Let's learn. Oh my God. What a fun time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm choosing indigo. Okay. A deep blue. I'm going to do a, a French on this. Boy, I hope I can while we were. So uh, yes, we're going to Orlando. Uh, lastly, these are not dragon nails. These are these are butterfly abstract. Butterfly abstract. Oh, yesterday you hear me see, say dragon. Oh my god! Remember when you accidentally drank acetone? <gasps> yes, I remember that. Flat and ombre. Okay, so I'm gonna use flat, and I am going to use ten millimeter. So ten millimeter and flat nails. I don't know. I, that I day, I became responsible for your water consumption from that point on. I remember. I spit it out immediately, though. Thank goodness. And this is why... In, the, in Brooklyn, too? You know, we were so many places so much. I don't even remember. Usually, I take care of this little corner because it's near the sidewalk. And you don't want it to get on your client's skin, so I just using the uh, ten millimeter to go ahead and fill in the corner now. So when I come down here, it's past the skin and sidewall down to the free edge. Now I can just take in a flat brush and just stroke it down. Matt lives in Orlando. Ooh, yeah. What a life. Orlando? Oh my God, near the beach? Man. Yes. Instead of John. And we're not going to tell him neither. We're going to peep up at his window at night. <laughs> and that's just... Throwing pebble at his window. It's all creepy like? Yeah, all creepy like. So drinking acetone is cold? Um, the moment it's in my mouth, I spit it out right away. I knew, I knew it was asked on right away. Everybody in the back, well, are you okay, Tina? Are you okay? Okay, so deep blue. Um, I want more, uh, stiffer. So I'm going to start right here then. I want it to be just a little stiffer. Okay, now I like this. It's way steeper than before. Before it's not as steep. Now it's really steep. Um, I'm gonna make a gem. I'm probably up here. Okay, so that means that this now is um, get this. All right, I'm gonna unbreak the snails. There you go. I'm gonna unbreak it. Oh yes, now I remember exactly where we were. 
in the Bronx. Oh, yes. Had to go through that freaky. How come we always end up going through scary ass doors when we're with John? Because no one has like a sign, a, a, a feel welcome type of vibe. It's always crawling through the back alley. Ugh. That's how he want to walk through the, the, the restaurant. Like a boss. He want to do it like a boss. Okay, now, sponge. Okay, remember? You only want to start out with tiny little blue. Not much. Okay. Why? Why just tiny little blue? Because now, when you dab over this blue line, it's made this blue line ombre. See that? It starts to break it apart and dissolve before it's a strict, straight line. Now it's sponge, it's ombre. So that is when you start moving down slowly. Okay. So now that ombre part on the palette, it was stuck on the sponge. Whatever on the palette is stuck on the sponge. That how the cookie crumbles. Okay, beautiful. Now in here. And if you want, if you want, you can mess with it until this in the middle getting a little bigger. Let me show you. So if you want, you can add more new gel because it's weaker than the uh, blue gel. Okay. Also start again up here, going down slowly. And then going up again, going down again, going up again, down again, just blend it together. Okay. Are we going to be on live tomorrow? Yes, yeah, tomorrow I go on twice for Australia because Sunday only, um, Sunday after I'm up, I have a day with my best friend. What about us? No. Sunday, I think no... I can speak for everyone else here, all 200 of us, we're a little hurt right now. I need a day with my best friend. We're going to go watch a movie. It's going to be so fun and romantic. We're going to... No, I have a romantic day with my best Who's friend. We're going to go watch a scary movie, Megan. Huh? What now? Who's going to feed your husband? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Just be me and the dog. Yeah, good luck. And the cats. Yeah. I'm gonna be, a, I'm be. Oh, we're gonna go eat first before we go watch movie. We're gonna go eat first. I'm definitely not getting that great. Probably some fish or something that doesn't hate. No. Probably some something with fish sauce in it. We love it. Vietnamese love it. Doesn't hate it. I would say hate. Hi, Leo. Um, in order for you to get product, you go on www.tinabo.shop. I. I pinned the link right here. We ship worldwide. Uh, even um, East Africa or wherever that um, there's not a lot of uh, U.S. traffic, as long as U.S. ship to you, we ship to you. So it doesn't matter where. Now, if you're in a country where U.S., you have never received anything from U.S., then we cannot ship to you. But I highly doubt that because I think U.S., they ship to everywhere, right? Uh -huh. USPS, yeah. So anywhere that U.S., air traffic have shipped to you, we ship to you too. So don't no worry about the shipping. You just click on it and it will it will come to you. Get this. Hola, esta haciendo otra de tu tus maravilla. Gracias, que gran talento. Saludos desde Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, hello, Argentina. Hola, Argentina. Gracias, Argentina. Gracias, mi amor. Um, let me see, really. Sasana. Okay. So, again. Yes, yes. See, they always forget Tino's autistic. Oh, yeah, I'm autistic. Why did they make fun of my autism? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, somebody, if they would have seen you two years ago, how you wasn't even, you remember having to sit there with the mic and, and go over everything? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very shy at the beginning. I'm very, very shy. And, still... and, and I am still shy, it's just not on nails because I, I know nails. I'm not good with small talk. Like at the show, at the show, 
I can talk all day long from the moment I start to the moment I'm in. I don't go take break or anything. I just say that. I just talk nonstop as a show. However, when I'm done with the show, when I go out with people and they're like, how's your day, Valentino? I have no idea what to say. Like, good. And then they'd be like, oh, well, is that your first time here in Florida? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> Nuts. And then they, they, they just, what inspired you, Tina's? And just, you know, just all this, you know, the, what inspired you? That's not a small talk. But, you know, the small talk, I don't, I can't even think of a question. Like, um, how's the weather like, you know? And I'd be That's like, nice. and I'd be like, well, you're seeing it right now. And, you know, just weird question that they ask. Okay, now, um, I'll leave it right here and uh, map this. Yeah, she said first time she seen you with Annie was very shy. Yes. Yeah, they they, they and I am not good with small talk. I cannot sit there and do small talk. At all. But look at you now, how you grown. Now I discover that at longer it's now related, then I'm fine. Kill this. But if it's about the weather, then I'm not fine. Cause I don't want to talk about the weather. Okay, so I'm going to map this too. Look how smooth this gel is. Yes. They want all your products and talent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, a bit sauce. It's the best. We're going to do it Sunday. It's going to be so romantic. Mm, fish sauce and Megan. Yep. But Tino's over at Shy now. Okay, I'm gonna use Spark Charles again. Remember, if it's off the website, you know why. So, how many colors does Sugar Gel have? Sugar Gels, uh, sorry, I was thinking about something else. Uh, sugar Gel have three colors black, white, and beige. You think about C? No, no, I was. Thinking about something else. Some random thing. Hello. Okay, I'm taking blue spark gels. What is the name of the blue gel? The uh this gel is a spark gel. Cause spark. Notice how he's planning it out before he puts the brush to the nail. Okay. Now I'm going to plan a little bit. Get this. Um. All right, John. Okay, so 3D jelly. I need 3D jellies. Mixing with our blue glam. Uh, which one glows? Is that spark? Fairy gel. 
Oh, oh, uh, reflective, you mean? A diamond flash. Spark is not reflective. Swap is a solid glitters. Uh, glow, glow is fairy gel. Fairy gel is glow. Diamond flash is re reflective. Is that just like a super glittery gel? The, uh... the spot, very glittery, very fine. It's actually not glitter. It's tiny little micro flake. Okay, so I have in this 3D jelly, I'm going to add some clams. This is not clam gel. Clam gel is solid, gl uh, solid glitter. This is not solid glitter. It's see-through glitters. And I'm gonna build this. I need to get the uh, oval brush. I think Robin can examine that. Like a, uh, this a pointy brush that will do too. You should get a, a like a, a thick brush. And I am just moving this around by pushing it in. See, I'm pushing it, pushing it. I'm not stuck in it. When you build, you don't stuck. I'm just pushing it. See, nudging it. Nudging it, mm-hmm. And when it's in the right lay, you allow it a few minutes, or I mean, just a, a few seconds, not a minute, for it to be leveling. It can be, because 3D jelly is leveling. So you just give it a few minutes to ease up a little. I ordered Spark Set. How is Glam or Glitz? I forgot name different. Kirtis. Um, Spark is super fun. Glam is not. Glam is full of junky and fun glitter kirtis. So this Spark, it is super fun. It has a very high coverage. Now Glam is different. Glam is a chunkier gel. Let me put it out so you can see. See, Glam is full of big chunky gel and finer gel. So if you're looking for ombre or you're looking to have a red dramatic look, then you choose Glam. There is just option, different option of glitters. So one is very fine, almost pixie-like glitter, and one is chunky glitters. Because chunky glitter, I have it because sometimes... Uh, people like the look of like glitter acrylic where it's big and small, big and small, not just one. Because this coat, you can just paint it on. But this will give you an illusion that it looks like a acrylic encapsulation. Um, glam, gel, and glam are very similar to each other from the side because they all have junkiness and fineness. But this is solid, this is see-through. So glam, I have available on just raw glitter. You can mix in acrylic, you can mix in gels, or you can apply pigment, apply sticky, and pour this on. I, I think I've done that before. You'll see me do it later when I pour all of it onto your nails. Okay, so that is the difference between glitters. But spark is, spark, I use it more often than spark. Glam, I use it when I'm looking for dramatic look, but when I want some easy glitter, I always use spark. It's cover very well. So the one that, this is the glam right here. Yes, like the glam, the glam powder and glam gels. So mm -hmm. the one that comes in the box is the glam. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now I am going to take shanded and top coat this before I do anything else. Now, the more clear you put on here, the more it will magnify. Just remember that. Just in case you want it to be super crazy, then you can put more clear on. Now, time to, uh, time to do some beading. We're just going to do it right here instead of going to Nail Fairy. Because it's not really crystallized, even though there's a little crystal involved in beading. <laughs> Okay, what should I do with this one? In a little bun right here. Yeah. 
I have to finish the middle one first before I can send some kind of direction on this. I have to finish this just so I know what to do on this. Okay, now, uh, beating lets you a new friend that we have because remember this chair doesn't move. So I'm gonna use this. Yes, Spark is the small glitter gel. Right. Yes, yes, very small, very fun. Like, uh, if you have pixie gel, it's like that. Very fun glitters. You can polish through it your entire nails with it. I color block with spark a lot. But it can keep the edge nice and sharp. Glam, I usually put it on spark. Just because spark takes care of the background, glam just adds a little glamour into it. If you use just glams, then I will take a sponge and we'll, I will sponge it so it can soak up a little bit of top coat of the glam gel before you apply so you can have more freedom to create. So with, Jamie wants to know, so with getting glam box instead of sets of gel be enough to be making illusions of encapsulations of acrylic? Yes, but I, I'm going to recommend you this. Okay. Glam, you get one. You get one. You try it first before you buy a whole box because unless you know what to do, if you have something similar, you get you, unless you use it a lot. Okay. Because if you're new to this, you test out the water first. But if you are a type of person that like to mix glitter and acrylic, uh, mix glitter and gel, build gel, like that, work with a lot of raw glitter, then yes, a whole box will give you a little, little uh, something off, like a $10 off or something. But if you are new and you're looking for specialty product, okay, this is not a specialty product. This is optional. This is extra. Little extra. All my glitter are extra. It's not specialty. It's just, you know, sometimes I need glitter. Sometimes I need this, sometimes I need that. So remember, if you never mix glitter before in your life, then you have to test out one color first. Just make sure that it's your things. Um, if you only can pick out one color, I suggest Fairy Glance, my favorite. This color will give our coral spectrum. So let me zoom in. This is what I recommend, Fairy Glance. It's more common. The color spectrum are very common to me. Unicorny, dreamy. So that's why I will get first, unless you get used to mixing. If you you mixing, you love acrylic glitter. You use a lot of um just raw glitter in general. So be be careful, be aware. I rather for you to spend your money on um on the effect gel and on the texture effect gel and 3D jelly more. But for material like glitter, sticker, uh, be careful. Um, <clears throat> this is a question from the video a couple of days ago. Uh -huh. Can you do bubble effect without using the bubble effect liquid? I don't have it yet. Yes, you can. Um, let me think. Uh, ink, okay, ink. So um, if you take 3D jelly, not texture effect yet because I haven't tried this. But 3D jelly, you put it on the surface, you take white ink. Okay, I have white art ink. Remember, I don't try alcohol ink with this technique. I try white art ink on top of wet 3D jelly. It bloom out like little bubbles. So you can do that. With our bubble effect, you can do that. Um, that was just another technique. Oh, are you ink? I, I, oh. I dropped bubble effect to delay it, so you couldn't use that. Yes, you can drop white ink on top of wet 3D jelly and see the result. Mm, you're going to love it. I use the same uh, technique for the uh, jellyfish design. La, 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 la. And if you want, before bubble effect exists, we use oil, cuticle oil. Uh, we use saline solution. So it's a little drop shop ish. Uh, you can use that. However, I would not guarantee the chippage. Did I just say chippage? 
You did. You did. Is it like a new word? Like, is that like an actual word, chip it? Absolutely, honey. Yeah, so you can take care of your chip it. Remember, so I'm not guaranteeing you chip it if you use dangerous product. Remember, it is a word, even if it's not written down anywhere, mm -hmm. as long as people understand what you were saying. Yeah. Um, I use it, and then, because I'm very risky, uh, so I use it. I use it before. I use oil. I use saline. Um, and then I, I want to make sure that I take al uh, aston or alcohol, but preferably aston. And I really clean up that oil after it's clear. I really clean up all that um, before I cure it. But that was old, old story. Because in the day, I have both effect, and I don't do that anymore. That was uh, the time when Vincent come out with that uh, bubble technique from the Russian. He mixed cuticle oil with um, with uh, liquid monomers and aston. I do that too. My my bubble was okay. It was not that great when I mixed all that in. I'm sure that uh, then different measurement and all that. He learned from that Russian girl. I forgot her name, but she the first one come out with it, with the bubble technique. It haven't even get to United States yet at that point. And have a great family dinner, try 13. Have a good day, try 13. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Honey, honey. What's that? What, when are your people talking to you in your secret language? Oh, hold on, hold on. They may have, I don't know, they asked something or they, you know. Okay, okay. Chị muốn mua đồ em, um, uh, em bán ở uh, nếu mà chị coi ở dưới này nè, mấy cái comment ở dưới nè, ở dưới cùng á, là cái shop của em là www.tinova.shop là uh, Dreamtime Creation, cái công ty Dreamtime đó là người ta uh, ship hàng cho em. Em không có hàng, uh, hồi trước em bán mình nhưng mà bây giờ nhiều quá, cho nên là phải để người ta bán cho em, để mà em có thời gian để mà dạy mấy người này. Cho nên, uh, um, oh, còn nếu mà chị muốn mua, giống như là mua sĩ, mua gì đó thì uh, cái số phone em để ở dưới đó đó là 417-772-4020 Nếu mà có cái question nào đó mà muốn hỏi người ta đó, nên về chuyện mua bán gì đó là có thể gọi bà đó, bà đó tên là Khai là bà có thể giúp chị Nhưng mà nếu mà mua bình thường thì ở trên uh, Tino Product Shop Let me know whenever you see another more your secret language yeah more my secret language i don't know but that was a lot you could put out there and you didn't tell us mm -hmm. you didn't keep any of us informed oh she just asked or oh, she want to buy my product so i tell her oh, where okay. to buy it and all that oh it's cute but i do want all of this though i just want all of this how does the texture gel affect laying? Oh, I love it. I love it better than 3D jelly on beading. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yes, yes, yes. It just stays there. Look at my line. It's still perfect. If you are a beater, then you know. You know what I'm talking about, my pain. Whenever you do a line and then you look back and it's all moving. When, when that happened to me, I just carry on and then... At the end, I fix it. But with this gel, it's easier for me now. Now I'm very thankful that my bead doesn't move. So I can uh, be a little more relaxed. You know what I mean? When I do bead, um, whenever it's moved, then I'm not relaxed because I'm constantly watching out for it. Now I don't need to. Thanks, Lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, damn it, I missed count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. From the metal beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From here out. And the count is 15. One. Make sure it's good. One, two, 
three, four. At uh, Dreamtime Creation five, is uh, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. The one who takes care of all the shipping mm -hmm. and all that stuff with it. 12, 13, 14. One more. 15. Now moving it cl cl close together so it can fit. If you feel like it's missing, a stay don't add more because it's fitting time from each side so you just move it until it fits Let's see a little bit more up here a little bit in slide down just a little this side Yeah, you have to put a trunk on that thing and call it a Okay, I got it. Got it? Ish. Ish. Oh, God, you made it so good and I scared us again. Sorry, guy. Normally, I would do it odd ones, but I'm, I'm, I didn't think about this now, so I have to figure it out. Oh, honey, you got more of your secret language. You know what? Cruise it. Oh, are you a rhinestone? I just show you in that just so you know how to make a gem. But I'm done. I'm done with that. Let's kill that. I'm gonna do a rhinestone. Rhinestone. Oh, what you call those? Oh, that's a big one. Oh, this is a big one. Maybe too big. Try this one. Yeah, that one is better. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. À, bán hàng có người nói tiếng Việt không em? Um, no, mấy người đó nói tiếng Mỹ mà Mấy người đó nói tiếng Mỹ mà Nếu mà uh, Để coi um, Số phone của em nha Để em ghi số phone xuống nè Chị phải hỏi em, em Tại vì em biết Còn mấy người đó không có biết Mấy chị chỉ biết là website Mùa sao Chuyển sao đó Mấy cái đó thì em không biết Tại vì người ta ship Mấy cái chuyện đó Chuyện business Còn mà Về sản phẩm thì chị, chị hỏi em À, số phần của em là 660-207-2440 Đó, ở dưới này nè Đó. 660-207-2440 Chị hỏi em Tại em em biết Nhưng mà em chỉ chỉ biết sản phẩm thôi Còn mua bán làm sao Rồi chừng nào ship, rồi chừng nào cái gì đó là em không biết Ok, nào Em có một Crystal Magic Glue And use the crystal magic glue right here. Actually, make sure that it's open. Okay. All right. Now, I'm gonna apply the crystal on. glue on my crystal, I mean my katana.
Mm, something weird. Oh, some gel is dropped in it. It's kind of sticky. Is Crystal Magic better than the glue in the black bottle? Black bottles? Oh, no, that's not glue. That's uh, Crystal Sealers. That's not glue. Uh, the black bottle, that's a Crystal Sealer. Or oh, if, if you're talking about the 3D gel, that's gels. Uh, in the uh, jar is a gel. Kill this. It's not a glue. Actually, not kill this. I need to uh, activate this. What do you use to secure the crystal rhinestone? Crystal sealers. I use crystal sealers. In this, with this glue, you don't need to seal much. It done its job. Um, you might seal it when it on the, like hot gel because uh, hot gel acid cannot soak it, so glue will have a, a little problem uh, penetrating it all the way. So you can seal it if it on like hot gel, but usually on mat, you don't need to uh, really seal it much. You can it, if it helps you feel safe. All right now, let me see what else I need. Uh, B. Mm hmm All right. Now, this right here. Let's see. Make sure it's dry. Let me touch it. Make sure it's dry. Okay. Does it leave a residue on the mat? Uh, if you put too much, then it'll be shiny. When it's dry, it's shiny. It's not dry milky or anything. It's clear. But if you put too much glue, then when it's pop out from the side, it's gonna be shiny. You just have to clean it up with Aston before it's totally solid. But no, it's not dry and milky or anything. Oh my God, you remember those glue that when it dry, it's get a little milky. Oh. Go through all that, that trouble. That was a, back in the old day, you guys, that what we have to put up with. Put up with it. So, speaking of notes, have you been making your note list or? Not with these now, because it's oh, simple. Okay. Okay. So, who knows? Don't get notes. What if we don't feel like it's. It's not a layer design. I mean, Max going on live tonight. We should. We should oh, we could go spy on him. Spy on him. Shit. Right. I'm so happy for him. He don't have to work at that job anymore. Can finally do what he loves now. That's what we wish for everyone. Yes. And really, we live in a world where that's absolutely available, more so than it ever has been before. Right. You can be any. You can you be anything can you want. Do exactly what you want to do. Yes. In life, and survive, and make money. As yes. As long as you're willing to take those steps. Mm -hmm. You can be anything you want. You can be anything you want to be. And the more that stuff happens, the happier this world will become. Yes. Remember that you can be anything you want to be. Now today, with social media, I mean, people selling anything on TikTok, really. They do anything on TikTok. Now today, it's so easy to spread yourself to the world. And connect with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. You can skip the metal man. Back in the day, you had to deal with the metal man. Now you can skip it. You can find your birds of a feather. Yeah. That's all way people out there to support you. As long as you're good, then they will celebrate you. They will give you credit. It's not like back in the old day with no social media. Why did I use this? Honey, honey. What's that? Matt wants to 
take us out to dinner. Where? When we go down. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where's Matt live? But, oh, but Florida. 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 Are going on, but oh, we're going to be there. Other people that may be snatching him up. Oh, yeah, right, right. No, we so, gotta be the one. So we don't, we don't care because conveniently that happens to be where our new fictitious Mac number two that we like more than the old Mac happens to live too. So you know. Oh wait, he said he'll take us to a nice spot though. Where is that? It's last. All studs. Um, it was in the oh, I find it. It's underneath here. Okay. <laughs> what is some rather you glue? What is little bar right here? I want to use glue instead. Make sure I add just a tiny bit of activator. Just a little bit. Just touch it a little bit. Matt's going to kidnap you. And I like the sound of that. Your dream come true. <coughs> Matt, I love to be kidnapped. Just so you know. He knows. Oh, he knows. Good, good. Kidnapped. Oh, God, horrible, isn't it? No, I guess it's not horrible, you know. For those for those who don't want to be, you know, I want to be kidnapped. I want to be kidnapped and then uh, he said that portraits, windows covered the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. Now, good morning, my Vic. Now, incidentally, whenever uh, we were in a I must say that is like home of the white vans. I have never seen so many. Slowly, it's everywhere, everywhere you guys. Everywhere there's a white kidnapper van. It's crazy. I love Atlanta. Oh, I do too. Atlanta will probably, if I were to retire somewhere, I mean Atlanta is like tempting. It's like a tropical rainforest. There's tree everywhere. There's there's fruit everywhere. I have to lay this down flat. Or I'm not going to be able to keep it still because it's very heavy and it's metal. Okay. And you know, I hope someday we get to meet all of these people. Yes. But we get to meet them because of successes, not class. Right. Or anything like that, you know? big old social gathering to see how wonderful people have grown. You know what? I need to space this out and add a beat in it. There you go. Now it look good. But Matt, let me let me let me let me tell you how Tino and I truly are taking us to a, a nice spot. Now we now we have to come up with the definition of nice because for some reason a lot of people always want to take us to these very fancy, high dollar, too expensive, waste your money yeah. places, and that really doesn't 
I, I, I'm not fancy. We want, we want the place. We, we want some lady in the back with a greasy apron. We want to be sitting on shiny furniture. We want to come up to a place in there and it looks horrible and scary, but there's a line about it, blah, yeah. blah. And everyone's fighting to get in because the food's so damn good. That's what we love. And we love like mom and pop or like a hole in the wall. We love it because that's what good food is. The 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 first night that John taking us out in the restaurant, man, he's taking us into this fancy steakhouse. The way the guy come out, and I swear to God, he's come out not in a normal fashion. Yes. He was carrying some things. He was carrying something. <laughs> but I'm swearing to you, he's like this. Mm -hmm. He come to our table and he presented like a wine or something. It was and and then he, he holds his hand back like appropriately. And then he will he will then the way he talked to you, I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's gonna be so expensive. And it is. Um but then the second day, the second day when he take us to this small restaurant and we go into the back. Oh my god, we love right. it. absolutely back love. Alley. I went like, to the they, kitchen, freezer door. Oh my god! I expected to find fifty of these oh, back in the chain smoking plain. I know what to do now. I know what to do now. You know what to do now. I know what to do now. Oh, thank goodness! I need autumn crystal. Yeah, but it was like. Pilot opposite because I after the restaurant I tell John I say John what the fuck are you thinking John? And he said, What what you don't like it? I said we love to go into like hole in the wall to eat, you know, place it to have like soulful food. Not not this. What the fuck is this? I, I, I go to this kind of play all the time. Back in the old day, I don't want this. So that is when he took us to that small restaurant. Oh, it was heaven. It was so good. Oh Been my back god! Here twice, maybe three times. Oh, somebody else. We went back there again. I mean, we didn't go through the back door. Food is we so good. The, the food is so good and it's so unhealthy. They put so much MSG in there. We get like really sleepy after, but I don't really care because it's so good. Uh, and in. In that first restaurant, they give you like a healthy menu or something, or like two separate menu. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do that ethnic mm -hmm. way. You know why they did that, right? Why? They always bring a separate menu because I'm with you. Oh, we have. I'm, I'm the only white guy, and you're like, and here, this is something acceptable for him. I remember one day they were like, "Does he know what kind of place this is?" Oh, yes, I remember. Like, get the white guy out of here. Oh, we go in and they look at Dustin. They take one look at Dustin and say, you know that we have snail, right? <laughs> so I like, yes, we do. <laughs> so there was a question about the glue. And the thing keeps... Yes, we love Spanish food, Dominican food, oh, all that. Oh, my God. Dominican. Oh, Lord. Oh, I was so unhealthy. In New York, we, we, oh, my God, we over orders. It was so good. Oh, here's a question. And then I get in this fight with this Jamaican guy. Not not a fight fight, just like a verbal fight. Oh, my God, it was so good. I get a chance to be a New Yorker. I cuss him out. <laughs> oh, I feel so good. I don't get to do that in the Midwest because they, they shoot you in the Midwest. But in New York, in New York, it's just, you know, an everyday thing. Oh, I get to argue with him. I get to, you know, we get to cuss back and forth. Oh, I, feel, I feel so down to earth. It was fun for you, I could tell. So, Sanfo93 uh, asks, so with the glue, you need an activator and no light? No, no, no. You don't need it. You don't need it. Um, because it will air dry in about one minute. One minute. Uh, to depend on your surface. If you have matte, it'll dry in about 30 seconds. If you have uh, like shine, then it takes longer to dry, but you don't need activator unless, like, like with this, I don't need activator because it took me a while and after I'm done, it's, everything is dry. But let's say you work with a big gigantic stone like this. 
the moment I put it on, I need to activate right away because it's heavy. It's gonna fall. It's gonna slip everywhere. That is when I need activator because activator does is it freezes it. It will dry it. It will speed up the time. So that way it is. So and uh, it's not a special product neither. It uh, you can get dip activator. It do the same things. Dip like if you do dipping and you have activator, then you don't have to buy. Uh, the activator bottle, even though it's like that cheap, it's like that that cheap. It's like nine nine nine, but then when you buy it in a bundle, the glue and the activator, then the activator become four nine nine. So it's like really really cheap. Are you using glue with this? Yes, yes, I'm using glue right now. Right now, I'm doing glue. Oh yes, we live in a. a still carry uh, all you have to do to get a gun here is go buy it it's all yeah. you got the cash <laughs> bullets are cheap yeah this is a state where they like to carry gun for a while so now are, for a while now they try to uh to ban gun like in canada canada all gun were banned so there's not really a lot of people go around shooting people. They just go around murdering people with knives, like serial killer. <laughs> like it's a capital of serial killer because you cannot use gun, so they have to use knife. So now Canada have all these kids going around and and butchering people, like fifty stab. I'm not sure which one is better, being shot once or being stabbed fifty times, but that's the way it is now. <laughs> I get it depends on what you're into. <laughs> but yeah, I'm mean, sorry, they all carry gun now. Well, that's in Illinois, Chicago, Jen. You go through a background check. Oh, here, no, not. I can give Tino a gun and it is his gun. Then you have to register here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me and Dustin, uh, we against gun. We we don't like gun, yeah, we but we but we're not after banning it neither because, I mean, we're not against anyone's right to have anything. But our no, personal no, is, we don't judge them. We we don't judge. Don't yeah, we don't need a gun, but, but we don't judge people that have gun. You have it for some kind of safety. You should. I try. You animals. should be I able to. You know, yeah. Safety or whatever. I are. think banning it is a little ridiculous because. The criminal doesn't need a permission to have it. Yeah. They have gun. They they can have it illegally. So a person, the resident should be able <laughs> to have a chance to go through that channel to buy a gun to protect themselves because nowadays it's crazy. It gets crazy even in Springfield now. That's let's say like a murder every like every week or so. Oh, every, day. every day that's a murder. Well, how many? It's horrible. It's horrible. So I believe a person should have a right to, to either carry or not to carry, but not forbid them, then how they're gonna protect themselves. Call the cop and wait like 20 minutes. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> me, and, me and Dustin doesn't need gun because we have cats. We can just throw cats. Right, we got defense cats. Right. You throw a cat someone's head and they're done. Oh, ho, ho, you guys, look at this. <sighs> they beautiful. Tino. This better go viral, you know. Yeah, it made me feel. It made me feel safe. These um, the textures, butterfly that I did, and the tentacles, it didn't go viral. People love it, but it didn't go viral. And I know why, because it's it's too different. It's not. It's not like mainstream, but it's it's too different. You know, I mean, it didn't flow with the typical like ombre or like, typical mainstream current. But I need to be avant garde every now and then. But this set right here, that have a little mainstream into it. You know what I mean by mainstream? This is unique. This is different. But the chrome, you know, people like chrome now, the texture, people like texture too. So it's have a little mainstream to it. It's not too, too, too different. This is super mainstream, even though the the pattern of design totally have my original touch in it. However, the 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 French tip, you know, it's typical. You know, people know French tip. So it's not too weird. 
that if you ever have a question of how you can make a hit, how you can have people notice you and have massive likes so it can boost up your internet, uh, your social media algorithm. You should know that you should know when you've been weird. Okay. You should know when you're, <laughs> you should know when you're being weird. And when you follow mainstream, I'm not saying that follow mainstream all the time because you're not going to get noticed that way. But if other people do an ombre, you do an ombre too, you're not, nobody going to notice your work. It needs to have a little bit of your touch into it. It needs to have a little surprise, but not too weird. Right, let me show you. Um, see, like this acceptable. Okay, now this, this is acceptable. Okay, now this is a little different. If you could see this, you'd be like, uh, I cannot do that. And my client, I, I probably do, I probably spend like two hours, four hours on that. And my client couldn't sit through it neither. So that is a little weird. But I added it to, I combined it with mainstream look. That is how you make it. Is that you have to have something that people recognize. People only like things that they can relate it to. You know, like this is totally relatable. You now you love to be a mermaid. You love texture. You love chrome. They're totally into it. So you sneak this in while you have all this avant-garde stuff. So that makes your stuff stand out but not too far from the spectrum because then you just end up being weird and people are gonna stay away from you they're not gonna like it you know so make sure you keep very well balanced you have to have a mainstream feel this have more mainstream feel to it than the original touch original touch i would say you know the color joy that i use the pattern that i use but and then this my bedazzle that's totally different too this this is kind of different but i see it Mm, here and there, somewhere in Japan, somewhere in Russia, you see it. So this is a set that people will recognize, but it's different enough that they would like it. They're not going to pass by it because it's not something they see every day. Okay, that is your homework. Have, do that, make as much money you can from it, and I will see you tomorrow. Another design. Does anything you diffuse me? Oh. That's not gonna defuel us, so you can see this. Will you sell press on? Okay, I don't sell press on, but many people in this live. Um, I see right now, one hundred eight thirty-eight people are watching right now. They are doing something. They are doing press on. They are uh, selling nails, uh, doing nail for a living. You ask them, and um, in every one of my live, you should hear in the beginning. That's where people come in right now. They already like have stuff to do, so they. They go away now, but when when at first when I begin the live, you come in, you ask, you ask, hey, can some of you guys um willing to sell me a set or whatever? They will. Yeah, just plenty. Oh, oh, thank you, Tentolini. Oh my God, I yeah, almost yeah, yeah. forget the note, the note. So uh, I'm gonna write down the product. So so this is a finish. You like it? Mm hmm. Oh, yes, you see that girl, Chicky, Chicky, the, the pink one, the white and pink logo, Chicky Pling, she did press on too. She, 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 she my best friend. Oh, I better not let the person hear that. <laughs> She's good. She's good at, uh, at her press on. She's really good because she's doing it forever. Okay, cat clonding. Cat Clonding sell press on too. Mm -hmm. Kikaro, Kikaro, you welcome Kikaros. Cat Clonding yeah. also do press on. Um, a lot of people do press on in there. Cat Clonding, uh, where Cat Claw in an island? Oh, oh you mean Cougar Claws? No, Cat Claw. Oh, Cougar, Cougar Claws. Claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's an island. <laughs> no, she can send Cougar. it to you. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, she'll send it to you. Um. Massey, that's a Nintendo. I'm taking you guys out to dinner. Please, you can't say no. Um, we should go hang out with Matt. Cause we hang out with John all the time. You know what I mean? Oh, I I agree, but we gotta think about Mama and. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna try. Yeah, gonna I, try. I wanna hang when out get, when we get closer. So oh, no, because because I felt Matt. From the very beginning. Oh, God, be so yeah, fun. how passionate. And I hope Dev like... at the show, too. We can go eat dinner together. Oh. Me, Matt, and Dev. 
Ooh. Oh my God, that'd be so fun. Honey, he just invited you. Now you're inviting a bunch of other people. He like that. He like that. Now by that, he like that. Jeez. So what we're going to have is a, a night out with Tino. Uh, Matt's paying, and it'll be a $1,000 a ticket payable to me <laughs> for, well, to keep the numbers down. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I need to write down the notes. Hey, listen. This is okay, so like you this. take a screenshot of this. Yes, yes, screenshot. They don't need to see that side of it, baby. This is our new Sudoku directions. You okay. So this is a butterfly abstract. You take a screenshot of this. Okay. I don't think five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now I'm going to write down. I'm going to write these down. Let me see. List of ingredients. Um, top gel. Top gel. Tan nude. Tan nude. Okay. That is in the uh, gel effect. And uh, liquid gel. All top gel. It's in the uh, stained glass gel. Glass gels is in gel effect, and it has its own category: stained glass. Okay, now uh, pigment base also is in this category right here: pigment base. Base. It's in gels effect, liquid gel, and, and uh, art gels, art gels is in colors, and in art gel category, it has its own category. Um, sanded and matted, you know where it is, sanded, matted. Is in gel effect. Oh no, no, essential, essential. And then clams, clam glitters is in glitter category. Oh, glam, a uh, glitz and glam. Sorry, is in glitz and glams. Okay, and then um, brushes, they have its own category. Brushes is in brushes. And um, spark gels, again, um, I have to take it up soon. I'm thinking about today or tomorrow. Um, spark gel is in glitz and glam. And clams. In uh, spark gel. And pixie gels, my favorite, is in gel effect. And, and is in pixie gels. Clear texture gel. Oh, I don't use clear texture gel today. I use 3D jelly. 3D jelly is in gel effect. In 3D. The reason why I have this category because I want I want to be I don't want to have a bunch of product that doesn't have category so I have all these category I will uh, fine tune it I I will fine tune it later. Yes, thank you. Okay. So, um, um, crystal katana, um, crystal katana. I don't carry it. I don't carry crystal katana. Yeah, uh, Dreamtime Dream does. does. So you just go on the search bar and you search for the crystal katana, you find it. Crystal magic glue, crystal magic glue is in essential category. Essential. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, you're taking a, a picture of this. 
Are you going to give them a countdown or those? Yes. Seven, take take a picture of it now. Take a picture of it. Oh, um, okay. Ah, uh, let me see. Let me see. Flashlight. Sorry. Oh, flashlight. Flashlight is in a central category. Oh, caviar beat. Caviar beat. Uh, um, decor decorative accessory. All right, now I'm gonna hold it for ten seconds. Now, ten, nine. Eight, and, and six, seven. Matt, I'm sure we'll five, end up together. Four, you're right. But three, you know, we never plan two, too far ahead. One. Uh, so. Ten, nine, eight, six, seven, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Yeah. Love, peace, and happiness. All right, everyone. Let me see what this one is. Oh, I have so much fun today. Tomorrow I have two lives because Australia needs some attention. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. I will see you later. Bye, Matt. I will remember that, Matt. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm out of here. Bye-bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Complete. Yes, I will. Can you code it? I will. <laughs>